PCB Way is one of the leading PCB manufacturers out there and it is the manufacturer I use for my products. Now, if you're either a hobbyist and or looking to create a final product, PCB Way is going to be a really great choice with their 24 hour and also assembly services. So go ahead and check the links down below. In today's video, we're taking a look at an old new revision from G-Lang. And this micro brushless scene whoop quadcopter that records 1080p with the CADEX here is called the Anger 85X. Now, it's okay, but it has a lot of drawbacks. Actually, one big major one, which we're going to cover in a bit here. But first of all, let's take a look at some of the accessories here, and we'll get a little bit further into that. But there are a couple things that I really like about it, and um, it's basically just the motors. So in the package, you get a 450 milliamp 3S, you also get an OSD remote, a spare set of propellers, and a screwdriver, microfiber cloth, some manuals, and also the carrying pouch here. And that's about it, other than the quadcopter itself. Now let's talk about the quadcopter. Let's talk about the performance, first of all. The performance is basically mediocre. It's nothing too crazy, nothing too underpowered. It's actually just right there in the middle. And um, hard maneuvers, top speed, it, it, this is not going to do well. Also, outdoors, this will not do well due to a lot of vibrations and oscillations in the video feed. Indoors, it's okay. However, it's really fragile. This was like the second flight. I think I dropped from like a 1.5 meter drop and um, it broke. Uh, that's it. I mean, the LEDs are still okay here, but I'm just going to super glue this back into place. They do provide you with these foams that you could stick on. I just found them right now while I was looking through the accessories. And I put them on. That could have possibly saved it, but I highly doubt it would have done anything uh, there. Now, for overall weight, it's around 54 grams as is, as you see it like this. And it has a dedicated video transmitter, which is really nice, up to 200 milliwatts. Dedicated receiver, you could choose whatever receiver you want. And basically, the all-in-one board is up to a 3S. It's one of those crazy V-type boards here. And for camera, we're using the Caddx Baby Turtle V2 1080p camera, which is okay for this type of setup. However, you know, marketing it as a scene whoop, I think, is a, a really big mistake because um, you just really cannot use this. I mean, you can indoors slightly, but it's it's so prone to damage that it's insane. I love all of the components on board, and I love the way that they're going with this. But they really need to come back and figure something out with their frames. Uh, I remember which company. There was a company out there that had really good plastic frames and also a new one that I just recently reviewed called the Envision. And uh, a couple reviewers said it wasn't really great, but actually I found it absolutely phenomenal. And the only difference I see between my review and their review is the batteries. I'm using fresh batteries for all of these micros right now. Uh, these micro batteries tend to die out pretty quick and you start losing a lot of performance and you don't really get to uh, experience the full performance of a micro with pretty damn old batteries. So just keep that in mind when uh, actually watching a review that could make a big difference. And I've learned that the hard way within the past three, four years I've been doing this. So I usually tend to try to put the freshest batteries as possible. And I did pick up some for this winter here. Now, if you're still here, let's go ahead and take a deeper look at this or dive a bit deeper, if I should say. So first of all, if we take a look at the mounting solution for the canopy here, maybe if they were a bit more stiff, that would be much better in my opinion. And I also received another one of these toothpicks they've created, which is pretty nice. We're going to cover that later on. And they did the same mounting solution with the nut right there. Now that nut is not a self-locking nut or any sort of nut, and it will disappear on you. I've already, I've already had two disappear on that one. That's something I would do again differently if you're watching this G-Lang. Uh, definitely do that differently as well. Video transmitter output is decent. It's just like any other nano, it's, it's okay. There's nothing inherently wrong with it. Um, the motors I am really, really uh, loving here. They look like proper motors. I mean, I don't know who made these for them, but it's not like the Happy Model or the Mobula motors where you can find some play in some of these motors. These motors are solid and they're really smooth, like insanely smooth. So I am going to be ripping this thing apart and putting it on something else, definitely. Because 1202 motors, 6,900 kV, that just sounds like a fun motor to play around with and see what kind of efficiency you can get with it. It looks like a little pancake style. It's pretty awesome, actually. Uh, so I'm looking forward to playing with that. Uh, in the upcoming days probably rip everything off of here i love all of the hardware components but the frame just kills the whole quadcopter which is an absolute shame this thing could have been an absolute beast here but i guess they're trying to keep the weight down but 
yeah i don't know this is this is not this is not something i would definitely recommend but if you like the hardware on board with these motors that's something i would recommend other than that um i really other than that let's go ahead and score this thing so overall durability i would give it a one out of ten overall performance i'd give it a six out of ten uh overall components on board other than the frame I'd give that an 8 out of 10. Really do enjoy the components on board. Don't have any issues. Very well executed. We have low ESR capacitors, a hole for the USB. So the execution is very nice here. Uh, dedicated receiver, dedicated video transmitter. Uh, we have a dedicated, obviously, camera. That's a HD recording camera here. Uh, the motors are really like as well. I'll probably take these apart and go ahead and test them on my thrust stand later on. So we see what kind of performance we get out of these guys. And well, there is really nothing else I could say other than that you will possibly break it within the first 10 flights that you're flying this indoors, even outdoors as well. So just keep that in mind when purchasing this. If you are purchasing this, I'd highly recommend you just purchase it for the components on board if you find that as a good deal or a good setup for what you're trying to do here. Um, and just get another frame then uh, Yeah, that's what I would do and if you did buy this I'd recommend you possibly just go find yourself a nice frame until the day you break it So this way you have uh, some kind of a backup you just replace everything on there However, you need to take note of the motors because it doesn't use four screws It actually uses three screws in a triangle here So keep that in mind when purchasing your next frame or else you'll just be upset and uh, we don't want that do we? And, well, everything's linked down below if you want to go ahead and check more specs on this thing. And um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.